Hello and welcome to Mead Week. I'm Brian Spann. On this edition, a quiet week this week ahead of the Army's 237th birthday. Army birthday activities combined with the local Star Spangled Banner celebration in the Baltimore Harbor equals a lot of local activity for the Fort Meade community. We'll preview a few local events in a moment, but first a message from the Secretary of the Army, the Honorable John McHugh. This year, our Army celebrates 237 years of defending freedom and democracy around the world. To all those who serve both at home and abroad, to their families who continue to endure, and to the civilians who support them, happy birthday. Since the Revolutionary War, people from all walks of life have sworn an oath to defend the Constitution of the United States. America's greatest generations are built on a spirit of service and sacrifice. America's Army is strong because of the enduring commitment of our citizens. Throughout our history, American soldiers have proven their agility and power. As our nation's force of decisive action, we will continue to battle threats at home and abroad, just as we have for more than 200 years. As we celebrate our Army's birthday, remember those who have sacrificed for our nation and honor their service with integrity. The Army is our people, the greatest force for good the world has ever known. Army strong. Sergeant Major of the Army Raymond Chandler and his wife Jean also had a message aimed at a younger audience on the Army's 237th. Hi, I'm Sergeant Major of the Army Ray Chandler. And I'm Jean Chandler, and we're here with our good friend from Sesame Street, Rosita. Hi, everybody! We just wanted to tell you that we think Army kids are doubly special. That's right. Do you want to tell them why, Rosita? Hey, <laughs> see? Because Army kids get to celebrate two birthdays. Too. That's right, your own birthday. And the Army's birthday. So we want to say happy birthday to you all. Happy, happy birthday! Feliz cumpleaños! We're so proud of you. We love you. Locally, join the Association of the U.S. Army, AUSA, for their annual birthday cake cutting at Club Mead at 7.30 a.m. The guest speaker is Scott Sheeds, a historian and ranger at Fort McHenry, site of week-long star-spangled celebrations in Baltimore. Garrison Commander Colonel Ed Rothstein is scheduled to cut a cake at Columbia Mall on June 14th. Army units from all over the area, including Fort Meade, will be at the mall from June 14th through the 16th. And one other item of note, don't forget Fort Meade's Army birthday celebration at the Bowie Bay Sox baseball game on June 15th. Complimentary tickets are available at Leisure Travel on Wilson Street. Last week we spoke with Child Youth and School Services Sports Director Matthew Sigarts about the need for registering kids for fall sports as early as possible. This week I asked Matthew about the new youth sports complex, which will hopefully be ready for the fall. I know it was supposed to be this spring, but uh, they had to regrade uh, and they're uh, getting the fields better, in better condition before the tournament. I know that they were out here spraying the other day for the weeds uh, and trying to get it so it looks like a professional high-end uh, sports complex, which is what we're wanting. There will be a, a grand opening ceremony in the fall uh, once, once the uh, fields get turned over to us. Uh, at the moment, uh, the date is unknown. It's to be determined. And so once that date is solidified, we will have a grand opening. More news for kids. A lot of area school children are breaking for the summer holidays this week. And for many, staying in academic shape over the summer is extremely important. We spoke with Post Librarian Susan Hayward about this year's summer reading program. This year's theme is uh, Reading is Delicious. And uh, the children uh, decide what books they're going to read. They come to the library, they check them out, and uh, they keep a reading log. And then we're going to give prizes at the end of the uh, program. Ms. Hayward adds that this year's program offers new incentives. The program's going to last about three months. And uh, we've got some pretty good prizes this year. Uh, we've got um, gift certificates that we're going to give away. You do need to sign up to participate and earn those incentives. The program kicks off this week. The library is located next to the Post Chapel near Burba Lake. The 4th of July is the largest community event of the season, and even though it's a month away, preparations are being made. MWR, in particular, is looking for food, beverage, and novelty vendors for the 4th. You can go to www.ftmeetmwr.com for details and requirements. As for the 4th itself, join us on the parade field from noon to 9.30 p.m. Mix 106.5 Radio is scheduled to broadcast live from the event. We'll have more on Fort Meade's Independence Day celebration as we get closer to the date. One final note, the USO, which is currently located at 7007A Baker Street in base housing, is scheduled to move to the corner of Mapes and 6th Armored Cavalry Road in August. In the meantime, they need to train volunteers to maintain the new facilities. Volunteer training and orientation are coming up June 26th from 1 to 3 p.m. and from 6 to 8 p.m. at the Baker Street address. And that's Mead Week for this week. I'm Brian Spann. For everyone at Mead TV and the Fort Mead Public Affairs Office, have a great weekend and a great Mead Week.